Hi guys and welcome back to episode 35 of the raid series. In the previous episode we went into customs and we cleaned up all the uh, AKS-74U kills. And in this episode we're going to go into Shoreline and try and get Punisher Part 4 started so we can work towards getting that Epsilon container, which I know all you guys like to get when you have a standard account. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. All right, so we have a few quests for Shoreline at the moment. I saw by uh, base, area, map, location, that's the one. Uh, we've got to go to the three locations for colleagues, which we have to do that with uh, all in the one raid while surviving. Uh, courtesy visit is to go near the swamp area. We have spar tool, which is shotgun headshots with the 12 gauge. Colt is to go to an area near the swamp. So we already got to go, got to go there. And so we can work on all those ones. Uh, we have dailies, so we might as well check out what they are. Three lots of building materials. We could probably just place that, see what we get. Is it two shorelines? Not going to do that. All right. Uh, scav camp co op extract. Not going to be doing that on interchange. I think we could probably get away with doing one more here. I'm going to reduce our fence prep. And we're not going to do this. All right, cool. Uh, next one. Hand over an Untar found in raid. And we're going to get an Untar helmet found in raid. Might be able to get that done. Bit of peacekeeper rep there too. We have a lot of peacekeeper quests to do, so eliminate uh, PMC operatives with VOGs. Not going to happen. All right, so uh, the main task we're going to be focused on is to get Spartua done, which is the 12 gauge headshots, and we'll go get Colt done at the same time. If we get far enough down the Spartua quest line, we uh, we get like the RBST key and a couple other stuff. So, um, for the for the Punisher quest, we also have to use a scab vest. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna do that, and we have to wear a bell clava. So the best way for the bell clava is just to buy one of these. It's cheap, simple, it's easy. And then for the scab vest, instead of going to Jaeger, oh, sorry, instead of just buying them on the flea market, um, you could do this barter trade here. So flea market, they're gonna set you back 18k, but you can buy slickers, and they're 9k each. So get a slickers, do the barter trade. And Bob's your uncle, you have a scav vest. Armor-wise, uh, you can use whatever you want. We've got this boy, our 12 gauge. So I think we have a little bit of AP20 we've found. I'm going to use that. Leave a stack in there. Five. AP20 will absolutely cut up people. Good. Now, we are low in funds, um, but we should have a few upgrades in the hideout done, which is good for us. Uh, generator 3 is now finally finished. We are out of fuel. Uh, Bitcoin farm is still constructing five more hours left on that. Have case and solar power, air filtering unit. We should try and get this one done. Uh, it, we just need to save up some money. Rest space we can get once we get skier level three, which we should be able to get now. We just need to get probably money spent. Yeah. So we can buy some euros for that one. But in the meantime, we do need an armor. Uh, Probably the best way for us to do this. I'm trying to think of how to just get a little bit of cash right now without doing a stab run. Um, we actually had a lot of success on on that previous uh, lot of raids. On old customs. That's nice. I think this might sell for a little bit. Ah. Alright. And then armor wise. That's not what we want. There's a class four armor that I want to buy. We should be able to get found in raid. So if I was to go here, if we get rid of the pack a bit, can't remember the name of it. And then, no, 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 no. Not this one. So we want to get it as a full. So this is one of them. It's another one. Probably going to be one of these ones. Yeah. Not the best, but this will have to do. A bit more money than I want to spend, but it goes over the line. All right, so we have the shotgun. We're going to go for headshots. We're going to try and get PMC kills. And we are on shoreline, so we'll take our shoreline keys in with us. And hopefully we'll get some dubs. Some dubs. We don't need any markers, I don't believe. Anything under all location that might be missing. Not doing shit of born heaven. 
We could do this for the nighttime kills. Uh, not really something I'm keen on. We'll get forest cleaning done soon. And that leads to Tequila Kill quest. Uh, athlete, we just need to get one more level, which isn't too far. Cool. Yeah, Punish Your Part 4 is our focus. PMT kills, we're wearing a scav vest and a balaclava. So, draw line, let's go. All right. Hmm. Interesting spawn point. If we want to go for the PvP and PMT kills, we should really just be running straight to the resort from here. A little bit on the fence. We probably won't be first to resort. I'm kind of tempted to try and get the uh, scab kills first by going straight to power station. And then that way, at least we're progressing along that and we don't have to rely on shotguns. Now, there's a quest after chumming that is... Um, Get PMC and scav kills with a shotgun suppressed, uh, and it's called Silent Caliber. But I don't want to do chumming first because I don't really want to have to go interchange and do the interchange kills. Once we get these scav kills, I'm pretty keen to leave shotgun alone. There's a lot of quests to do for Peacekeeper, so. Like an SVT. Here's one of my rod as well. God, that better been a headshot. was good. Might be able to try and get ourselves a cheeky splint here. I'm going to hide this armor and use this other one. At least we'll get it back from insurance. We actually have insurance this we could get back to. This is awkward. Brakes really annoying. Go from one type of blurry to the next. I can't. This is ridiculous. I can't see. All right, so. Probably the better thing to do right here would be to go into the resort and try and get ourselves a, uh, a splint and do the PvP side. Instead of focusing on colleagues and that. The other option would just get a couple of scav kills. And then get out so we go through the ah.
hoping that a scab would spawn outside here. Man, this is stuff. We go into the resort. We try and get ourselves splint and a bit of PvP. Problem is I can't see someone past 10 meters away. I feel like I need my glasses. Or because I didn't bring a splint. My glasses. Where are the splints at? Where are the splints? Scap kill. Oh, bin. Hmm. Get the PS hand. Hold the way to the top. Some lead X spawns here. I'm trying to. I know some med spawns in 306. It'll be quiet. Do I... There's no weird like med crates in here. Too quiet, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Holy, Holy grenade case. I've got 216. Yeah. Oh, I actually have 112. There's no meds in there. Well, no one, no players are in here that I could see. I think we leave. I could go over the other side. That's for sure. There's a med crate on the third floor I know of. On the right here. Another one here. <sighs> it 
If I could have... I think I reset. I think I just reset. We can go by the snot. Let's go see if we can get... I'm going to mid again. Actually, I shouldn't have... If I can uh, get the spa to request done, that'd be godly. Three more scans, I think it is. So that's the SVT we heard before. Oh, it's in West Wing, but oh, East Wing. East Wing. Go check out the car. The hardest part is that if I have to headshot, so it's hard for me to see do the headshot. Put in there. No, I'm probably shooting a bush. No, oh, I think it is him. Daily quest. Alright, so there are a couple of scavs that can spawn here. That was right in the forehead for him. <sighs> I think that's going to leave us a little tiny bit short though. Oh, one of those last kills didn't count. Okay, I'm going to do Colt and Nostalgia. I think level 28 is Hermit or whatever. It gives you another th uh, another Doc's case. So, um, we're better off getting that before we go back to the resort. And they're all in the same area. So, we're already here. Why not? I'm tempted though. Like once I go to these places, I don't need to come back here, even if I die. I still have to survive a raid, but I am tempted to go across to the village and but I should try and get those last two kills. I shot them, but I don't know where. This is just a blurry mess. Just a blurry mess. I have no idea. I can't see anything besides like 20 cent piece in the middle of me. 
Actually, you guys don't call it 20 cent pieces in America. In America. Quarter is 25. Do you have a 20 cent piece? Quarter, a dime, a nickel. A nickel would be 10 cents, I'd imagine. A dime would be one. Wait, what's five cents? I have a confession to make. Before this episode, I ate a whole packet of killer pythons. Now I feel like throwing up. Shouldn't eat that much sugar, guys. House over here to go. Sounds like an SVD sniper scam. That's the last one of them. Exit camp nearly killed me. Well, they were all headshots. That was terrifying. He shot me in the chest. I don't even have the money to heal. I have four, four, eight, seven. I'm not going to wait for it. Wait, what if we get rid of the fracture? Bye. Oh, now we could do tremor. We could do the factory tremor task because we've got a broken arm. All right, we might do that. All right, so is it? That's not factory. Actually, is any uh, cold blooded? No. So this quest gives one level of stress resistance, which might be handy. Whole part one, handed in, done. Whole part two, we've got to make marks and stuff. We also got forest cleaning done and courtesy visit. So this gives us. Lots of quests. There was hat. Rogues on lighthouse. Pinewood. Cabana. Belgia. Right. Heaps of quests. We also got those two, so we should hand them in. I don't know who that was for, though. Peacekeeper? Uh, sell this. We need to get a little bit of money first. Jaeger. Oh, forty nine. Milk. 
for the F1 grenades for now. Alright, the question remains, do we go back to Shoreline or try and do this? Wounded Beast doesn't have a follow-on quest, so it's not actually required, but at the same time, we could go into Factory and get the Tagila Kill quest done. So... I kind of want to get just keep getting these Peacekeeper quests done. Be honest there's so many of them and we need to get the rep so how much is a 301 key right now okay worth it right i wouldn't mind taking a splint with this Adds shotgun. I think that's everything we need. We'll work on the money side of things soon. All right. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Oh, we need to fix that break. We won't do Wounded Beast right now. We need to take a marker into Shoreline for Colt Part 2. Shoreline. Alright, let's get this last. Couple of kills. Do it. Hopefully nothing kept you entertained. Three minutes. Good spawn. Uh, we spawned right next to cottages so we can go do the cottage quest. And then go down to the pier. Might be some scav spawned in it now, which is good. Get the shot down at the pier or power station by the sounds of it. Looked like a scav moving left or right by the red fence. Be the boss. Be a little bit careful of that. Hello? So one more scav here, which is nice. Cool, spot tool's done. Right, now let's work on the colleagues part one. It's going to require us to go down to the pier, which those shots are at. Run over this. Right. That spa tool is done, which is good.
right, so we're constantly keeping an eye out for where the players could be whilst trying to head in the right direction. I'm pretty certain there's going to be a player down either by the, the you know, the player. It's either a player or a scav. It's a scav. I don't want to chase it. Oh, but we actually need PMC kills. It'd be a hard shot to try and kill him if it is a player. It's a weird place for a player to be running. But I'm going to go with a scab. Lost him. Right now we've given away our location. This is going to be messy now. I think the issue I'm going to run into here is I'm going to run out of ammo. Probably should do something from that. So all we need to do is walk in the front door. Right? Apparently we don't have to go that far. I'm going to do it anyway. Used to be able to walk to there. All right, cool. Now we're just going to go to the resort. Why is it so quiet? So we need to go to West 303, the ambulance in the middle of the open. Actually, no, we don't. Let's go to the back of the helicopter. That's it, really. That must have been a player running up there. There's no signs of the player being down here. But we heard shots in this direction. Unless they were killing scavs down there and then went upwards. Hmm. I know. All right, so Nobis Cavs aren't up by the looks of it because we would have been shot at by now as well. I was checking for him, but I'm assuming everyone's at the result this raid. Hasn't made a lot of shooting, a little bit. West 303, 
find a helicopter and we can mark the oh I think that's everything oh yeah yeah three three it I can't believe someone tried to exit camp me. That's twice now. Someone tried to exit camp me at the path of the lighthouse. I threw a grenade. Wasn't that the noise for a grenade? Priorities. We don't need to do 303 right now. We have to come back in here in another raid. Let's get the colleagues done. He's literally here. Now. I'm trying to be as vigilant as I can. I was somewhat keen to do PvP, but... At least once this shotgun task is done, we don't have to use a shotgun. We could do something with the scope. Have there, I just want to get out though. Survival's more important here. What was the marker for? Oh, yeah, yeah, for the mark circle. Cool. Bit anticlimactic. I was hoping to do some, some action. Oh, we got those headshots done. So that's good. Level 31 as well. This is shawl on a nutshell. It could be completely empty. You can get clapped from the side of the head. No idea where that came from. Or you could literally run through the whole map and not see anyone. All right, colleagues part two. Just to go to cottages and the pier. We have chemistry closet now. All right. All right. We really that full? Yeah, 
Okay, a truck a block. Alright, let's sell that. There. I don't think my uh, flea market item sold. Grenade or the milk. Fuck. Um. I made doing a scav run really difficult too. I was like, I might just do a Chugi scav run to finish. I'm gonna need some morphine for a quest coming up. Special cash register we need later on. Can't use them at all. Yeah, I don't know if we've done that quest. It might be vitamins part two. I think we would have done it. Cool we'll repair. No mechanic. I'm a big fan of the using the case 23 right now. Cool, got a bit more space. I think we could squeeze in a cheeky scav run. Come to factory. See what we can make happen. Well, nothing good on me, unfortunately. Let's, let's see if we can. Oh, it's a ruckus. We're going to have to do leg. Leg hits to make it count, though. Hmm. Is this not being looted? What, what servers am I on? Put it away! Put it down! Thank you, our boy. That's right. Weak. I do all the groundwork and these other guys like, do it. Laugh if I get there in time to shoot him in the face. He's lucky. Still off his loot, so. Eh. <sighs> well, we got something out of it. A little bit of money. Keep them. Keep that shotgun. Brand new one five, one five five. And that. Keep the dog tag. All the rest. Seventy three k. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to be it for this week. Hopefully, you enjoyed the episode. 
Apologies, there wasn't much PvP action in the end. I honestly went into shoreline with PvP in mind. That's why I was wearing the scab vest and the bell clava. It's just, yeah, I don't know. I picked the busier server for the time. I think we just got unlucky. I think there was a player at the end uh, or on the second shoreline raid that was the one that was near the power station running away from us. But missed out. But as for this one, that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Use your drill. Say hi to your mum and your partner for me. Thanks for listening to me in the background. And uh, lastly, have a great weekend. And I'll see you next.